Hello everybody, welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're actually into the beekeeping. That's right, it's almost winter here in central Pennsylvania, and uh, we're going to help our bees, we're going to try to help our bees make it through the winter. Now, bees in their box have to maintain 70 degrees. They don't have to maintain it through the entirety of the box, but wherever the, the, the hive, uh, all the bees are clustered. Right in that area, they have to maintain 70 degrees throughout the winter. And uh, anybody who's familiar with Central Pennsylvania winters knows that it drops well below 70 degrees here in Central Pennsylvania. So ultimately, you, the bee boxes aren't that much insulation. So it causes the bees to work extra hard to keep themselves warm. So they're going to consume even more of the honey that they have stored up. And, uh, you know, it, it lessens their chances of making it, it to spring, even when if you have large this hives like this that you know this box probably has 150 pounds of honey more than enough to get them through but it, it's it has leaks you know um it, it it has the top vent hole you know what i mean some of the boxes sometimes don't just line up perfectly and really it's just a piece of wood there's no insulation to a piece of wood whatsoever so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go through and help insulate the boxes a little bit all we have, um, Aaron and I have some of this rolled roofing. It's uh, felt paper. You can get it just about any hardware store or anywhere. And uh, we're gonna wrap all our boxes in this. This does a couple things. It gives an extra added layer of insulation. It's also a dark color, which everybody knows attracts the sunlight and the warmth and the heat. So whenever there, it's a uh, sunny day in the winter, these things are actually gonna get warmer than our lightly colored boxes that we want in the summertime to help keep them cool. So. This is gonna help on multiple levels. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna start an edge somewhere and we're gonna staple it. And then we're gonna wrap the whole box in it, staple it and cut it off. It's just as simple as that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Grab your staple gun there and let's get to work. Now, when we line this up, we're gonna line this up so that it comes down over the entrance of the hive. The reason being is we want to actually block our entrance off a little bit, reduce the wind that's going into it. We will leave an opening there because your bees need to be able to go in and out and get drinks and to use the bathroom in the middle of winter, believe it or not. Yeah, they still got to come out and use the bathroom just like anybody else. But um, we're going to leave a much smaller opening so that much less wind can get inside the hive on these winter cold days. So we're going to start low and stable, stable, stable. No, not really. You don't want to pull on the edge here. Yep. All right, we got our leading edge stapled. Just as simple as unwinding your reel. Walking around the box. There's nothing exciting or glamorous about this work in beekeeping, but it's a must do part of beekeeping if you care about your bees and want them to make them through winter. I'm gonna hold, just brace that until I walk around. you to do is walk over here okay. staple that right there what we're doing is we're sealing this tight against the bee box around the outside okay. work your way around
Вот и шапка. Go ahead and we'll just finish stapling our seam. All right, I'm going to add a couple more staples around just to kind of help hold it into the box a little bit, especially during windstorms and stuff like that. We don't want it. Basically, what's like a little mouse hole cut? Yep. Okay, you can see here, Aaron cut our hole here, and it's just big enough for my finger. Yeah, it's a granted, granted it's a big finger, but it'd be just about the size of my big finger to go in that hole. And what that does, that allows them bees in it, access in and out of their house during the winter months, which, like I said, is essential for anybody. Nobody can stay inside forever. We all go crazy. Um, we're just gonna continue this process right down the line here. Get all these boxes wrapped up for winter. And the cars, and the cars, and the cars. The cars keep driving past. Nothing else I can do about it. I often at times attract a crowd whenever I'm doing this. People find it amazing. But we're going to get our bees winterized. And you, until next time, keep your line wet and out of the trees.